today's video, I'll be talking about my upgraded um, Asus P8C77 VLX motherboard. So I got this back in 2013 and I upgraded it a number of times over the years. I still have this computer and I just recently upgraded it again with the M.2 NVMe SSD and um, it's still a pretty capable computer but it's really not gonna play some of the latest games like uh, cyberpunk or anything like that but it does but I do use it for other stuff like uh, watching uh, blu-ray movies uh, doing emulation stuff on it and stuff like that working on it I do work using this computer as well and um, what I have on it is an i5 3570k CPU a uh, GPU as well, which is a MSI GeForce GTX 1070, 8 gigabytes, has 24 gigabytes of DDR3 memory, PC10600. The operating system is Windows 10 Pro. I upgraded it from Windows 7 Pro. I have a video capture card on it, it's an Elgato. Uh, video capture game capture HD USB 2.0 I have a um, for SSDs I have Samsung Evo 860 500 gigabyte 2.5 inch SSD that's the one that has my operating system on it I also recently got a M.2 NVMe SSD a fancy young S500 Pro M.2 NVMe SSD one terabyte with a PCIe X4 adapter. Uh, I have three mechanic four mechanical hard drives on it. Three Western Digital Blue, one terabyte, three point five inch SATA three hard drives, and one Western Digital Blue, two terabyte, three point five inch SATA hard drive. As for optical drives, I have a Samsung DVD RWSSH224 and I have a LG WH16NS40 Blu-ray disc drive as well. Five and a five and a quarter inch 16X. I have a PCI expansion card. It's a PCIe 2.0 by one SATA three controller with four ports on it. The reason why I got this was because I only have six SATA ports on my computer. SATA, I think a couple of these are, I think the blue ones are SATA 3. I'm not sure about the white ones. It may be SATA 2. And um, as for the PCI E Express slots. This one is a PCIe 3.0 by 16. That's where my graphics card is mounted. So it takes up these two slots. On the bottom, I have a PCIe 2.0 X16, but it's only um, it has a bandwidth of only 2.0 by 4. So that's where I mounted my M.2 NVMe right here. And up here, I mounted my PCIe 2.0 X1 SATA 3 controller, which has four ports. So I have roughly how many? Uh, I have four, six, six um, storage devices, two of them being SSDs, four of them being hard drives, and two uh, optical drives on it. The CPU I didn't upgrade. This is the CPU that I originally got with the, with the computer, basically. On the next slide, this is the 
adapter that I used to mount the M.2 NVMe. So I put it into this uh, Tuser M.2 NVMe SSD heatsink fan. And um, I put it onto this, I, I put this in, I put my M.2 NVMe in here, put it in there, and then I connected it, put it into this port right here. This is only capable of PCIe 2.0 by 4, even though it is a PCIe 2.0 by 16 port. So I can't really use the full bandwidth of my M.2 NVMe, which is capable of 3.5 gigahertz or 3,500 megabytes per second, 3.5 gigabytes per second, but it can't really use all the bandwidth. The, the most I was able to get was about maybe about 1500 megabytes per second or 1 1.5 um, gigabytes per second and I'll show you that in the next part. So I recommend that you get an M.2 NVMe uh, heatsink fan for this because M.2 NVMe's can, can get very hot because they run very fast. Even though this is only only limited to 1.5 gigabytes per second, it's still a lot faster than my uh, two and a half inch SS 500 gigabyte SSD, which is only capable of about 550 megabytes per second. It's this is roughly about two and a half times, three times faster than a two and a half inch. Um, SSD. So uh, here I have um, two um, four gigabyte DDR3s, so eight and two um, eights as well, two eight gigabyte DDR3s, so that's 16 plus eight, so that's 24 gigabytes of RAM altogether. Okay, so now I'm on that computer right now. I'm going to go, whoops, it's not computer management, sorry about it. It's a device manager. Let me go to device manager. Show you what kind of hardware I have on this. CPU, as you can see, is an i5-3570K. Quad core processor. This is the GPU and MSI GeForce GTX 1070. Those are the optical drives. One is a uh, DVD R and the other one is a Blu ray. Here are the disk drives that I have on it. That's a Western Digital 2, two terabyte. Those three are one terabyte Western Digital. That's a Samsung. SSD, this is a fancy young M.2 NVMe SSD. That's the hard drive that I have on it, basically. I'll show you on Crystal Mark. Okay, here. C drive is the uh, Samsung 860 Evo, 2.5 inch. D drive is the Western Digital Blue. E drive Western Digital Blue. And that's the two terabyte Western Digital. That's the fancy on M.2 NVMe. So I'll be testing the hard drive, I mean the SSD, the Samsung Evo first. Five hundred fifty three. Uh, megabytes per second for the read. Five hundred nineteen for the write for the Samsung Evo. I'll be testing the fancy on uh, M.2 NVMe. Five hundred fifty three.
1511 megabytes per second for the read. Like I said, I can't get the full bandwidth because of the limitation of the port or the PCI D port. So I'll be testing it again. About 1494 megabytes per second for read. Fourteen fifty five megabytes per second for the minutes. So I have talked to NVMe. I'll show you the version of Windows, Windows ten. That's the build. Now I'll be talking about uh, the tests and everything. So uh, the last test that I ran, the load test was was pretty good. Um, it definitely does uh, load programs much faster using the M.2 NVMe SSD with the PCIe 2.0 by 4 M.2 NVMe adapter. And um, I, since I have a fan on there, um, the M.2 NVMe doesn't run very hot. I think the hottest it got was about 32 degrees Celsius. I could definitely uh, upgrade this computer more. I could put in a much better GPU, like a, maybe a GeForce RTX. 4070 if I wanted to this computer can definitely use uh, definitely accept a higher-end graphics card like an RTX 4070 or a 4080 or whatever it could um, I could upgrade the CPU to i7 3770k if I wanted to and probably it would if if I did that it would probably run all the modern games like uh, cyberpunk 2077 and other games as well other some other uh, some of the latest games right now no problems um, but i didn't feel a need to upgrade those two components because um, i already have a better computer like an i7 10700kf I do have a better graphics card on another computer like a GeForce RTX 3060, which I found, find it to be adequate enough. Uh, but if you wanted to upgrade um, this computer to the fullest, you could do that. And uh, I don't know if it's worth it or not. 
maybe it is worth it to you because if you, you don't want to get a new computer and spend a thousand or two thousand dollars on it if you just want to keep this computer going it's possible to do that and you could uh, up upgrade it to the point where it's it's still relevant for me uh the latest upgrade that i made was adding a m.2 nvme ssd for it because i wanted to be able to load programs faster and this is the furthest i'm going to go with my upgrade but you could take it um, as far as you want and uh, the more money you put into it the better results you you will get that's what I want to share with you today. If you want to know where you can find the parts and everything for this, I'll leave it in the video descriptions below. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching.